What is up guys? Hope everybody's doing well. I look crazy right now. I just got a hair transplant. My beard is swollen. My, my like, I got like a frog throat and obviously my hair is crazy. But today I just want to talk about, um, you know, the mindset of finding genuine people. I think a lot of people in today's world struggle with finding authentic and genuine people. And even I struggle sometimes to find people like that. I think we live in a very superficial world naturally because of the internet because of Zoom meetings, because of dating apps, because of social media. And it becomes very difficult for us to actually find out if someone likes us for who we are and not necessarily for their own personal gain and benefit. So let me just identify a few things with you guys. First off, people are always transactional. People are always going to look at you for something. And typically um, with men, it's more so the sexuality when it comes to a male-female interaction. With a man-male, it's more business and what can I gain in a sense of camaraderie and brotherhood. When it comes to female, female, it's more so sisterhood, right? And relationships and more so uh, effectively flexing with the relationship of that individual. So a lot of women will psychologically choose women in their life as very close friends because they want to advertise their close friends as a representation of their quality into the dating marketplace and into the social atmosphere. Men also do this as well. Um, but men are more focused on the relationship and the loyalty and more so the uh, aggressive nature of the camaraderie that's built between, between those relationships. When it comes to female to male, it's typically transactional. What can I get out of this guy for resources, value, X, Y, and Z, whether, whether you want to believe it or not. So this is a very hard generalization of how people look at each other. It's not that all men look for women for sex. It's not that all women look for men for what can I get from you in a, in a transactional nature. And it's not that all women look for their friends to be marketplace advertisements for them. And it's not that all men look for their brothers, for their, for their boys to be people to back them up. But that's generally how it is. And it's important that you understand these generalizations because that will prevent you from pretty much 90% of your heart being broke. When a girl is going to come and talk to me, I'm going to naturally assume that she's interested in me for the things that I have, for the resources that I have, the success that I have, for the way that I am. If it's not that, that's wonderful. Great surprise. But naturally, I'm going to go in with that. When a girl approaches me, I'm going to assume, hey, you like me for something that I have, okay? Great way to prevent yourself from getting heartbroken and, and being hurt. When a guy approaches you, I really want you to understand that you should really process this and say, he probably is interested in me for the way that I look 90% of the time. 90, I would say if it's even higher than that. I think that every guy is going to initially look at you in some way as like, hey, you know, based off your physical attraction, like beauty is very important. But at the same time, if it, if it doesn't happen to be that, then, then great, wonderful. You know, some guys might genuinely like you for the interest that you have and so on and so forth. So this is a great way to prevent yourself from getting heartbroken, but you have to fundamentally understand that people are typically looking for something and there are generalizations to that. But when it comes to finding really genuine people, I think that you have to unapologetically be yourself. I think that the biggest thing that we try to do is we try to put on this front that we're perfect people. A lot of times when I meet people, I'll tell them about the negative things that I do, the things that aren't good about me, the things that are really annoying. There's a lot of things that aren't good about me. I'm extremely dedicated to my work to a point where I can become antisocial. Um, Sometimes I'm not good at remembering things because I do have a lot of things going on in my life, but regardless, I'm not good at remembering things. Um, I could listen a little bit better sometimes. I think I'm a good listener when it comes to consulting and work-based situations, but sometimes as a friend, I'm not always the best listener. I look at the world through my viewpoint a lot in terms of like, you know, what I feel is correct. I'm very opinionated and that's a good thing sometimes and a bad thing in, in many cases in friendship. And I'm also harsh, you know, I, I'm, I'm more brutal, I'm more honest, I'm more aggressive. Um, I don't always have time for things. You know, there's a lot of things that I can actually get better on as a person. And so when I first meet people, this is not like a vent session, I'll tell them the things that I'm not good at because I genuinely want them to be aware of what, they, what to expect that might upset them. And this is honestly just me trying to save them time. And some people are just like, hey, you said this, see you later, we're not gonna be cool and they'll never talk to me again. Some people will kind of be 50-50. I think a lot of people actually are more so relaxed by it. And I'll tell them in a preface way, like, hey, like before <laughs> you really get to know me, here's some things that you should be aware of that I'm not necessarily good at. So we can go into this with the right expectations. Now, it's not that formal. Like I don't necessarily say it like that templated, but um, I'll, I'll go in and I'll say something like that. And so I think it's really refreshing to hear someone's flaws and the areas that they need to work on first. And not a lot of people do this. And... I think that leading interactions like that for your own for your own self will weed out a lot of people. So not only will first point is expecting certain types of certain types of people to want you for certain reasons, being aware of that. Number two, talking about the negative right off the rip. 
talking about the things that you're not good at, talking about the things that you're not okay with, talking about the things that you're not necessarily you know, perfect at that may upset another person. And then the third thing I would do really to help you find more genuine connections and to really help benefit you in cutting away from the superficial nature of relationships today is to literally put away your phone and talk to someone and encourage them to do the same thing and just try to have a moment with them as much as possible. Try to really listen to them and ask them really good questions, okay? So two parts here. Number one, kill all the distractions when you talk to people. Be very focused on them. And number two, try to ask them open-ended questions that allow them to elaborate on what they are actually thinking about. So what is the biggest thing that you're struggling with right now? How can I benefit you as a person in your life? What are some things that you need help on? What are some things that make you really happy that you wish you had more of right now? Has it been difficult for you um, in the past month to have genuine connections? Why do you guys, well, I mean, why do you think we met? You know, why, uh, why do you think that people underestimate you? There's certain questions that you can do in the middle of a conversation that can kind of open up someone and, and they can be built in a positive way. Now, I'm not trying to teach you how to psycho, like, psychoanalyze or manipulate somebody here. It's not the case, but understand that these questions will help you build more genuine connections. They'll help you build more genuine relationships with people and they'll help you actually become better as a communicator because you'll understand more about somebody right away in the first 10, 15 minutes of the interaction than some people will their entire lives knowing somebody. And when you set up the foundation of the relationship like that, you're already more likely to have a more serious, genuine connection. I think that everybody in the world is at some level capable of being connected to somebody whether it's their mother, whether it's their father. It's very rare that you have psychopathic people. That's, that's honestly something that's from birth. Narcissism itself is developed, it's learned. So the majority, even narcissists, have the ability to develop real human connection with people at some point in their life and emotion with it. So it's just about being that person. It's just about finding that foundation. And sometimes people need to be refreshed that the world can be a beneficial place. Like, you know, I know people that are very, very upset with the way the world is and they have a conversation with me or somebody that they really care about and they're like, wow, I thought all people are assholes. That was a really nice conversation. Sometimes you're just looking for a good conversation. Sometimes I'm just looking for a good conversation. And I love having good conversations, which is why I, I do what I do. But I hope this makes sense. I wanted to give you some guidelines. I wanted to just talk a little bit today. Number one, it's understanding that people are transactional most of the time, the truth. Number two, it's understanding how to build a negative up right away. Talk about the things that you're not good at to kind of push people away from you and cause them to weed you out. And last but not least, it's cutting away the distractions and really building with emotional questions. So I hope this made sense. I actually have a whole book on um, conversation starters and questions. So if you guys are interested in that, just DM me, I'll send it to you. But really appreciate you guys tuning in. Thank you so much for spending a little bit of time here with me today. Follow me on all social media platforms. And until next time, guys, sue me out. See you later.